Hi guys, I'm Alona from Businka Mania and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to sew G-string. For this string you can use a different kind of fabric. You also can decorate it with the bow and how to make this little guy you will find the link in the description box below. So you can attach it here in the middle exactly this way or you can create two of them and put them on the side. As I said before, you can use different type of fabric and also you can sew fold over elastic everywhere around, like I did here. For this tutorial, you can use any fabric you have at home. It can be stretchable, it can be non-stretchable, it can be even leather if you have some. So take whatever you want, pick up whatever you want and enjoy the process. Also, I was using this lace and as you can see here, it's barely stretchable. Compare, for example, to this lace, you see, it's more elastic. You can use both of them, whatever it's more comfortable for you. One more fabric I want to show you, it is four-way stretch spandex mesh. Also will be perfect for this project. You see, it goes all different directions. Or you can use velvet fabric. This is stretchable velvet fabric with a little bit jersey inside. So basically, all fabric you can find at home can be perfect for this project. Link with the pattern I'll attach in the description box below. You will need to outline one element on the lining fabric and one element on the lace fabric. I want to keep my scallops here on top. Just grab piece of chalk, outline this and after cut it off. I already overlocked my gusset, but if you don't have an overlocker, it's totally okay. So it's something not necessary. I just think it makes the finish more cleaner and professional. But as I said before, if you don't have it, it's totally okay. So here's our front element. And if you are using the lace as me on your project, then you need to grab the elastic. Mine is 10 millimeters and you need to sew it on here in this place. When you sew the elastic, you don't stretch the fabric, you stretch a little bit only the elastic, exactly like I'm doing here. And also you can follow all settings and needle size, which you can see on the screen. It should look this way, now you need to turn the panties on the opposite side. And grab the gusset and place the gusset on the marks which you can find on your pattern. Pin everything with the needles, exactly this way. After grab the fold over elastic, mine is 1.5 cm. And you will need to attach this elastic in this place here. But you will need to keep 2-3 cm of the empty space. This is for our rings. You see here 2-3 cm. I'll show you later in this video how to attach the straps in this place and sew it up to the end. On another side, you need to do exactly the same. We keep 2-3 cm of the empty elastic here on top, but at the end, you need to keep more longer strap and you see on the pattern you can see the number this number will say to you how many centimeters of the elastic you need to keep sewing for me for the size m i'll need to keep sewing about 15 centimeters we fold our elastic and start to sew it without any fabric about 2-3 cm, then we grab our fabric and place this in the middle of the fold-over elastic. You know, it will look like kind of a book. You put this in the middle and you continue sewing. 
When you sew, you don't stretch the fabric, you stretch a little bit only the elastic. The rules basically every way is the same with the elastic. Make sure that the gusset stays exactly on the max, so it doesn't move. Hold this with two fingers, remove the needles if it's disturbing you, and then place this the same way in the middle of the elastic to fabric lining and the lace and keep sewing until the end. On another side, in the beginning we follow the same process. First we sew elastic without any fabric, about 2-3 cm, then we place our fabric in the middle of the elastic and continue sewing. Rules are the same, we don't stretch the fabric, we stretch a little bit only the elastic. Make sure that your gusset exactly on the same place where your marks on the lace fabric because you don't want everything to go right and left in different direction. And you keep sewing this way until the end. But at the end, you don't cut the elastic. I'm gonna show you how to continue sewing the elastic and make it as a strap. When you come to the end, you need to grab your ruler and measure this place. For me, it's 15 centimeters. Look the amount of centimeters which is written on your pattern and make a mark here. Now I need to sew up to this mark. You don't stretch anything, you just keep sewing. And when you come to the end, you just cut it off on the place where you have your mark. Here I am and this is what I have so far. This is my elastic for the rings and this is my strap of the 15 cm for the size M. Now I'll grab the straps which will go around my hips and how to make this strap you can find the link in the description box below or also I'll attach the link on the top right corner for you. You grab the strap and place the elastic inside of the ring. Exactly this way like I'm doing here. Pin this place with the needle. Do exactly the same on the opposite side. And pin it as well. It should look this way. Now grab the third strap and place this in the middle, between these two straps, which go around your hips. Pin it as well with the needle. And now go to your sewing machine and sew each place where you have your needles. When you start to sew, make sure that there is no any metal object like a ring under your needle. For the side strap size M, I was using the elastic 38 cm long and 15 for the bottom. But I will strongly recommend you to measure yourself before you attaching the elastic in this place here. 